This plugin allows ChatGPT to have memory. The first mass level AI misinformation is the Pope in a puffer jacket. Perplexity just launched their app for iPhone. You can now animate images directly in chat. AI detected a woman's breast cancer four years before it developed. This guy used ChatGPT to build an iOS app in minutes. Luma AI is releasing their video to 3D model API. If you can type, you can create a 3D world. This plugin allows ChatGPT to have memory. It's called the retrieval plugin. And for example, if you ask, who did I live with in Sun Valley? It will retrieve things and then it appears that you live with several people in Sun Valley, including Jen, Marie, Elena, Exa, Sashi. And this information was found in a document titled Sun Valley Grocery List First Week. Where can I find that? And then it links to Google Drive in the document. And basically, he says there was no person called Sashi. Also, Alex and George were there. We were staying at Exa's house during COVID. Can you remember that for next time? Then it will use the plugin and says, Thank for providing correct information. I've saved the following details for the future reference. And then you can see he opens a new chat. Who did I live with in Sun Valley? And now it will use the retrieval plugin and basically memorize exactly what they're talking about. Its favorite memory must be the minute before he deleted his browsing history. The first mass level AI misinformation is the Pope in a puffer jacket. What would be the name of the Pope Francis lifestyle brand? Signing a little Lamborghini? We gotta be living in the simulation because there is no reason for the Pope to be this drippy. <laughs> Chrissy Teigen said, I thought the Pope's puffer jacket was real and didn't give it a second thought. No way I'm surviving the future of technology. Here's Abraham Lincoln when he saw the Pope's drip. BuzzFeed actually reached out to the guy that made this and he said he was tripping on shrooms. Perplexity just launched their app for iPhone. This is Perplexity for iPhone. So they announced a 25.6 million Series A funding round. If you don't know Perplexity already, it's kind of like ChatGPT, but it also gives you the sources. You can actually deep dive into the articles and it's kind of like Bing Chat, but it's even better in my opinion. So they have now launched their app on iPhone and you can also do follow-up questions, which you couldn't do before. It also has voice search and thread history, so you can learn and explore faster than ever before. You can obviously talk into the microphone, which is a very good help that you know a lot of people want to have. And I use Perplexity a little bit, and personally, obviously, my favorite is ChatGPT, but for many people, they like to get the sources and the articles, and I would probably recommend perplexity over Bing chat in this case. You can now animate images directly in chat. It's called Genmo. And to my knowledge, this is the first creative multimodal chatbot that not only takes images as input, but also generates and edits images and videos. So unlike Midjourney, Genmo is an interactive assistant able to ask for your feedback and iterate. So you can use your favorite programming language, English. I can see that he generated four animations or videos here. And then he asks, put these images together in a video, like a movie with fade transitions. And just like that, it will put them back to back to back and kind of fade them into each other, which you're doing in just chat, now higher quality without the fast mode. And here is the final result. Kind of trippy still, but look at how amazing that is. And it was made all in chat, animating an image. I want to show you another wild example here where they write a lot of different instructions to it, ask them to generate images and stuff like that. But then at the end, they say, make a movie that is kind of like this. First, one, two, three, four, five. You, you can read this if you want to, pause the video but then it actually creates a movie that is running back to back. Look at this, here the text, here an image and then the text and an image text, image text. So AI can create all your social media content, but 
it still can't get your grandma to like your posts. AI detected a woman's breast cancer four years before it developed. This technology is currently being used to great success in Hungary, while the US, UK and the rest of Europe are also looking at testing it for themselves. It can ultimately be a lifesaver. So you can see here that it had a cancer cell right here and here you can see it has developed over four years. Dr. Larry Norton of the Lauder Breast Center says that it can look at mammograms and identify areas that a human radiologist may want to look at more carefully. It's called computer assisted detection and it's actually been around since late 1990s, but the technology is improving. What this work does is it identifies risk. It can tell a woman you're high risk of developing breast cancer before you develop breast cancer. They think of AIs as a tool for helping radiologists look at the images better. It's not a standalone test. It's not going to replace a radiologist. And it says that it has reduced the workload of a radiologist around 30% while increasing the cancer detection rates by 13%, which is entirely positive news. Here you can see a radiologist looking and it definitely doesn't seem like this is a breast. This guy used ChatGPT to build an iOS app in minutes. GPT-4 is great at coding and that means custom tailored apps for whatever it is you wanna do. I'm a big fan of Roman style pasta, so let's try using ChatGPT with GPT-4 to make a bespoke iOS app for three recipes I wanna cook over the next three days. About 15 minutes of chatting, I got a fully working iOS app that was built for my needs and all I really did was find the images and copy and paste the code. And actually most of that time was spent asking it to refine the design. Custom tailored tools were really only available wow. to the richest given how labor intensive they were to produce. Models like GPT-4 mean that anyone can spin up tools on the fly. This means a world where our tools shape to fit our needs instead of us shaping to fit how the tool is used. I was thinking about making a food delivery app that exclusively delivers pineapple pizza even if you order a burrito. Luma AI is releasing their video to 3D model API. If you haven't seen Luma before, it's basically a way to turn anything into 3D and it really looks very realistic. This is something that is very hard to do with traditional 3D modeling ways. It captures the texture, it captures the light of the day, and it makes it extremely simple for people to create 3D scenes like this. Traditionally, this would cost around 60 to $1,500 and two to 10 weeks to create a 3D model. And they're charging a dollar per model and 30 minutes of computing. If you can type, you can create a 3D world. Just look at this. They're literally just typing and a 3D world just appears in front of your eyes. All you need to do is have descriptive language and it basically, as you can see, creates tables, chairs, parasols, buildings, and now they're trying to create an L-shaped planter covered in the corner. And here you have other rectangular ones. They're adding benches. They're adding things for vegetation. Now they have some litter on the sidewalk. They're adding some railing and then street lights scattered across the city with even distances, even some power cords. And here you can see that they are adding some waving American flags and greenery. And literally this is mind blowing how you can create this with just words, no coding, no moving around. Imagine all the things you can create with this. Runway ML Gen 1 is now available to everyone. If you don't know what it is, you can basically put anything into it and add a style on top. So here you can see that they're turning it all into all of these different styles. And this is what you can do with your own footage as well. For example, if you have a dog footage, you can add different styles on top of it. And you can see all these different styles. You can just change it around which is really cool i just tested it really quick with this video right here and i made it into a cyberpunk style <laughs> it's kind of crazy i'm summarizing eight of the coolest things happening in ai every single day and all you need to do to get access to that is subscribe down below and i'll see you tomorrow peace